Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, June 9th. Okay, so we have the moon in Cancer energy going void, of course, at 3.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Leo energy at 3.30 p.m., so a very short window where the moon is void, and that really helps us out because we don't need any more instability, any more nervous energy than we already have with all of this Gemini energy. So the transition from Cancer energy into Leo energy is always a welcome one because we're kind of all up in the feels, a little bit defensive, over protective in that cancer energy we're very attached to the past we want comfortability we want familiarity and we're a little bit I'm gonna say timid to boss up to new changes to new ways of doing things the Leo energy being the heart and soul of the zodiac really lends us the boldness the bravery the courage needed in order for us to again boss up to new challenges to new obstacles to new roles to new responsibilities we're listening to our heart space we're letting excitement and passion and desire kind of lead the way because we're still in gemini season with a lot of gemini energy this is going to be an opportunity to get the heart and the head in alignment so Today is also the day that Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, moving out of his rulership in Aries energy for Taurus energy. So, of course, this is going to come with a major shift in energy, in mood, in attitude. There is an astral forecast out for this particular event. Again, download your June Zodiac forecast to understand where this is taking place in your life. And if you have the Gemini season e-guide available, definitely flip to this particular section and figure out how this particular energy is going to manifest over the next couple of weeks. Again, I'm going to encourage you to listen to this week's Ascension forecast where I kind of lay it out on the energy shifts that are coming at us this week where we can expect to feel them in our physical form. And Mars moving into this Taurus energy is definitely going to be the brunt of the energy shifts that we are going to feel as this week unfolds. So with all of that being said, there are 11 different aspects taking place here today. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. 36 minutes into the day, we have Mars moving into this Taurus energy. So again, this is definitely going to slow things down. It's going to make us feel a little bit stuck, if you will, because we have to pause in order to get the lay of the land. This is going to be a little bit heavy, a little bit weighted compared to the Aries energy that Mars was just in. So again, I'm going to recommend that you take a listen to the Ascension forecast to understand how we are going to adjust to this particular energy. The moon, still very much in her rulership and cancer energy, going to get into the boxing ring square off with Chiron, the wounded healer. Now, this particular energy doesn't feel good. It is creating tension and conflict in order for a growth spurt to actually take place. Here's the thing. The moon in cancer, very attached to the old version of self, the old ways of doing things, the old round, the old reality. Chiron, of course, the wounded healer, who is kind of in charge of this rebranding of this identity crisis, of this boss up into new version of self, we're feeling good about where it is that we've grown, what it is that we've healed, what it is that we've repaired. We're feeling good about our ability to actually boss up in the face of challenge, in the face of obstacles and understand that it's an opportunity for growth. The problem here is, is that emotionally speaking, we kind of are looking back when we should be looking ahead. Again, this Chiron energy going to bring out the worst of us, meaning that the fears, the doubts, the insecurities that we have about making some of the changes that we know that we need to make kind of putting us in a state of paralysis. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. This is going to break us out of that earlier funk. This Uranian energy, it opens up our mind, opens up our headspace, our heart space to new ways of living, new ways of doing, new ways of being. This is a major shift in our mood and our attitude, receiving a little bit of clarity on where it is that, guess what? We're only going to get what it is that we've already got if we continue doing the same old, same old. We want a different result. We have to spice things up a bit. We are in Gemini season. It is a mutable energy, meaning change, flexibility, adaptability, is the name of the game. 
the sun in this Gemini energy going to get in the boxing ring square off with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, foundations, structures, discipline, willpower, who happens to be in those Pisces energy. So let's be very clear. This is a negative Nancy type of mood, type of attitude. First of all, we're not feeling so hot in our physical realm, in our physical body. We have low life force energy at this time, low patience, if you will, no Fs to give. This is a harsh reality check where we're starting to see life as it is instead of the way that we wished it would be. And now this is kind of pushing us to see where it is that we're having some growing pains on bossing up two new roles and responsibilities, two new levels of commitment in order for us to actually grow, to actually heal, to actually move on. Yes, there's some obstacles. Yes, there's some challenges. No, we don't feel well-equipped or well-prepared to kind of deal with them at this particular point. However, no Knowing that they're there, knowing that we can't run and hide from them puts us in a different situation in our mental plane, again, Gemini energy, in order for us to figure out how we're going to move through them or move around them. This is, again, an ability for us to sit in the darkness, sit in the funk in order for us to build ourselves up in a more confident, more prepared kind of way. Yes, we're going to have to be a little bit hard on ourselves, giving ourselves that tough love life lesson energy in order to get our panties out of a bunch, put the big girl panties on or big boy panties on and actually rise to the challenges that we're currently being faced with. The moon then going to semi-square Mercury. Mercury, of course, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information communication, how it is that we express ourselves in his rulership in Gemini energy. This is our heart space and our head space not getting along. Why? Because Mercury in Gemini energy is progressive. We're thinking about moving forward. We're thinking about progress. We're thinking about where it is that we want to end up. The moon in Cancer doesn't want to think about the future. We want to reflect back on the past and at the very least continue doing what it is that we're currently doing because it's tried, tested, and true. There's predictability, familiarity on what it is that we've been doing. The new ideas, the new projects, the new path, the new direction comes with a certain aspect of not knowing. The uncertainty of us not knowing what we're going to be venturing into is enough to keep us in a state of paralysis. Mercury then moves on to sextile the North Node, and this is going to help kind of dig us out of that paralysis situation because we're kind of in a particular energy where we're starting to kind of see the information, the details, the perspective, the people, the roles, the responsibilities that are coming at us, whether we like it or not. And so we, again, are kind of building ourselves up to rise to the challenge, to rise to the obstacles, to rise to the particular roadblocks that, again, for the most part, we've been kind of resisting at this particular point. We're seeing the path forward and emotionally speaking may not feel so good, but we're also removing the pressure of having to take action and make moves right now. So the last aspect that the moon and cancer is going to be making before going void, of course, and shifting into that Leo energy is a trine, which is a beautiful interaction with Neptune in his place of power in this Pisces energy. So this is water on water action. Water is purifying, it's cleansing, it's healing, it's transformative. Yes, there is an element where emotionally and intuitively speaking, we're starting to remind ourselves what it is that we want, what we need, what we desire, and therefore it, it does require us to boss up into a different version of self, to have a different emotional perspective and demeanor in order for us to rise up to the challenges that we know that we have to face in order to jump into something new. This is going to be a little bit of a renewal, a little bit of a refresher where our soul, our spirit, our emotions are concerned. It's coming at a great time. And again, 3.07 p.m. This is when the moon goes void, of course. We lock into that Leo energy at 3.30 p.m. About an hour later, we have the moon now in this Leo energy, the heart and soul of the zodiac, squaring off with Mars. Mars just shifted into Taurus energy. And so there's a little bit of friction here because, again, Mars hasn't had time to kind of adjust to this Taurus energy. The moon hasn't had time to adjust to this Leo energy. And so we're getting into the boxing ring and we're fighting it out. What are we fighting over, you may ask? Well, the moon in this Leo energy wants to kind of make some moves, wants to step out into the light, so to speak, wants to really follow our heart, 
wants to really just kind of lay out the land, if you will, on what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue. And there's a little bit of aggressiveness there. There's a boldness, a bravery, or courage where we absolutely want to see some progress in moving forward. Well, Mars, on the other hand, who's usually down to take action and make moves, he's fresh in this Taurus energy and we're not budging. We're standing still. Why? Because we have to get a lay of the land. Does that feel good? Absolutely not. Mars is resisting the ants in his pants at all costs. And so again, fixed earth energy may feel like we're stuck, may feel like we're being put in a timeout from the cosmos. However, this is going to really put us in a situation to realize where we're agitated and frustrated in our lives from not having the moves that we actually want to make. Again, a square is a growing pain. We have to be illuminated on where the ants in our pants wants us to go, but also where it is that we're refusing to go because we don't know how to actually move from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. The moon in this Leo energy going to directly oppose and set across from Pluto, the great transformer himself, who's retrograde in Aquarius energy. The Leo energy and Aquarius energy, they share the axis in the zodiac wheel. The Leo energy needs us to be our real, raw, true, authentic selves, our individual selves, bringing our skills and talents to the forefront. The Aquarius energy more concerned with how it is that we fit in with other people. Now again, Pluto's retrograde in this Aquarius energy is highlighting the internalized power struggle between old versus new, ego versus higher self, what we want, need, and desire versus what we think we should want, need, and desire. The power struggle is very alive, very real for good reason. Now the moon setting across from the great transformer himself, likely going to bring up a little bit of a bad mood, a little bit of a bad attitude. This could be where we kind of I'm going to say sit in the funk, sit in the darkness where we're kind of more that scared little cowardly little lion instead of the big, brave, prideful one. And emotionally speaking, we're really taking a good look at our fears, our doubts, our insecurities that are coming up in realizing what it is now that we want to do what we want to pursue. We're not going to sit in that energy for very long. The moon in this Leo energy going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. He's in this Gemini energy, really looking to open up our minds, expand our horizons, if you will, with new thoughts, new ideas, new belief systems. Now, the moon interacting with Jupiter, this is our hype energy coming back at us. We're confident. We're bold, we're brave, we're courageous. We think we could take over the world if that's actually what we want to do. We are aligned with the heart space, especially in contemplating different options and opportunities that now are becoming more and more visible. This is going to be a beautiful interaction for us to kind of kick that negative narrative in the bud, really close the door on those fears, doubts, and insecurities, and really step into a new level of power. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Leo energy, making a very awkward interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who of course is in this Pisces energy. So there's a little bit of restriction kicking in. There's a reality check kicking in. What our heart wants, needs, and desires may not actually be achievable in accordance to where it is that we're currently at. So this is us kind of taking that big vision, big dream, big expansion of ideas and thoughts that we just had with the sextile with Jupiter. Now we have to kind of bring ourselves down a couple of pegs. We have to be realistic with the dream, the goal, the vision that we're currently setting for ourselves. So although this isn't favorable to kind of have the wind knocked out of our sails, it is going to give us a much more realistic landscape for us to kind of plan and strategize around on what is achievable, what we could actually kind of obtain as far as our goals, visions, and dreams go, and what we have to build, what we have to create as far as a bridge goes to get us away from where it is that we're at and closer to where it is that we desire to be.